give me water, Kit. Not a drop. All Arroyo springs and tanks as dry as a bone. I got I this drought is a bad one. You thirsty, partner? Well, just get me to Angel's camp and I'll see if you get a big drink. Let's go. Kit Carson, El Toro. Glad to see you, Marshal. What brings you into Angel's camp? Oh, we can sum it up in one word, thirst. See, si, amigo, we're both dry to the bone. Our cantinas are empty and so are our good horses. Well, the good horses will have to wait a little while. But I think I can give you men enough water to wet your whistle. Gracias. You know, whoever said you never miss the water till the well runs dry, sure tell the truth. After you, amigo. I'm sorry it's not fresh from the spring, but Pancho was a little late with his water wagon this morning. You mean you bring this water in by wagon? Every well in town has gone dry. In fact, there wouldn't be a drop of water in Angel's camp if it weren't for Pancho and his wagon. This Pancho, he must be a very rich man by now. <laughs> well, he could be. He was so big-hearted. When Pancho finds folks are down on their luck, he brings them water for free. To Pancho, salud y pesetas. Dead man aboard, Marshal. It's Pancho. He's been shot at close range. That's outright murder, Kit. Well, why would anyone want to kill a water carrier? And what for? Gold. Somebody must have found out that Pancho was bringing down a big cleanup from the Placer Mine up in the hills for me to say. Who are you? And how do you know? Frank Perry is our assayer, Kit. Meet Kit Carson. Harry grades and weighs all the gold that's brought into Angel's camp. Then you'd be in a position to spot the gold if it should turn up. If it comes to my office. Well, that's the logical place. Unless the robbers want to go all the way to Sacramento. Do me a favor, Kit. Sure. I have to stay in town. Could you and El Toro find out where he was shot? Be glad. You better take care of the water that's left. Well? Thank you. May you have a pleasant journey. This is it. This is where Pancho was killed and the water barrels were riddled. There does not seem to be any sign of a fight. Which means only one thing, Poncho knew the killer and trusted him. See anything else? No, Kit. There's something very important staring us in the face. I don't see nothing. Where there should be footprints, there aren't any. They were carefully wiped out. <laughs> Here's a footprint. Just your size, Toro. Well, you better be careful. They'll be saying you're the guilty man. There. I'll leave nothing to connect me with this crime. Nothing? Look at your boots. A little mud. Say, that might be what we should look for. This country's as dry as a bone. Right. Any man with mud on his boots, fresh or dried out, had to get it here. Seguro. There's no other place you could get it. Say, Toro, remember that man we ran into riding in a town? Si, a fine-looking caballero. Is that all? Well, I wasn't paying much attention. Is there something else I should see? Mud on his boots. That's right. Let's get into town, Toro. But, Senor Marshal, I did not do this murder. I swear. Come along, Ramon. Tato! Don't go with him, Ramon. Valenzuelas. The whole tribe of them. 
stand back or I'll shoot. Shoot me, and you are a dead man, senor. As sure as my name is Porfirio Valenzuela, and now I give you one minute to release my son. Sorry, Mr. Valenzuelas, but I've got to enforce the law. The gringo law. My family makes the law for ourselves. Nothing doing. Vamos, Pato! Drop the clubs! Runners arriba! You all right, Marshal? Better come inside, Marshal. We'll take a look at that shoulder. All right, now go on home. Go ahead. Está bien. Vámonos. I'll take that. We go now, but later we come back. And for that, you have the will of Porfirio Valenzuela. Valenzuela? Si, and my son Ramon. He is not going to be hanged by gringo law. If your son isn't guilty, he won't be hung. For that, you have the word of Kit Carson. I respect your name, Senor Carson, and your word, but even that is not good enough. And now, Senor, for the last time I warn you, Ramon must be free when you return. And for that, you have the word of Porfirio Valenzuela. See that the horses have some water. I'll go check in on this. Muy bien, the poor horses must be very thirsty. How you doing, Marshal? Well, the shoulder hurts a lot. Ramon says it might be broken. Ramon? I'm starting to be a doctor, senor. He's a medical student at the mission school. I hated to make this charge against him, but on the evidence, what else could I do? What evidence? This. Juan Flores. Juan Flores is one of the miners up at the diggings, Kit. They've been meeting Pancho at the spring where he filled his water barrels and giving him their gold to bring down here to the assayer. That's you? Yes. When I heard of the murder and then saw Raymond ride into town with muddy boots, I knew he could have gotten them only in one place where the water wagon was held up. Perry brought the matter to my attention. We searched Ramon and found that on him. Where did you get this? It caught my eye in a mud puddle as I rode past. In a mud puddle, you say? Si, senor. So I brought it to town so it would be claimed by the rightful owner. You sure of that? I give you the word of a Valenzuela. Marshal, how much gold did Pancho usually bring down from the diggings? Oh, Perry knows that better than I do. Roughly, I'd say the diggings of at least a uh, dozen miners. Yet today, Pancho only brought down one pouch from only one man. Well... It doesn't add up. <laughs> well, Raymond could have hidden the rest somewhere and brought this one in for spending money. With the name of the owner still inside it, Senor, only an honest man would be so stupid. Well, anyway, we've got to hold you for trial. I'm afraid you're going to have trouble doing that, Marshal. We can't fight off his whole family in your condition. I'll take him down to the county seat and turn him over to Sheriff Paxton. That would be a real help, kid. I'll get started as soon as Toro comes back from watering the horses. Again, more on the boots. A chihuahua. Yes, well, uh, everything is very dry. That's lucky we have water to shave you with. I suppose you want to shave. Well, uh, I always can use a shave. And while you're about it, uh, Nino, will you give a shine to my boots? Yeah. Put that down, mister. Right. Lean back. Yes, sir. Had to get my water from the dead man's wagon this morning. You hear about the killing stranger? Well, I... First, they did have some sort of a case against Raymond. After all, he did come in town with mud on his boots. That only proves that he was at the scene of the killing, not that he'd done it. 
I'll bet you, mister, that... I'll bet you, mister, there's another man in this county with mud on his boots. What's in your mind? Pardon me, sir. Pardon me, sir. Pardon me. Boy, where does he go? Uh, he went to the general store to, uh, uh, to get new polish for your boots. Well, you, mister, my the best of everything, including the sharpest razor. Caramba, you act like you never shave a man before. A man like you, mister, I never did shave before. Take care, senor. You're shaving a man, not a pig. Keep quiet. Don't argue or I'll lose all control of my razor. on the street. Quiet. Too quiet. Pretty soon it will be too noisy. All the Valenzuelas are waiting for us to take away your prisoner. Your best chance would be to slip out the back way. You can make a dash through the alley and be out of town before they know it. We'll need an extra horse. Take mine. You'll find it behind the jail. Good. El Toro will bring our horses around. In the meantime, he can sign the paper for holding Ramon. Come, Ramoncito, we take you home. I'm sorry, I'm taking him some other place. And you're not stopping him. Let Carson through with his men. back inside.
Senores, you have talked much about water today. Now it is my turn. Your prisoner is very thirsty. Also very smart. What is sick, kid? None of his family in sight, so why not give him a drink of water? I will save you the trouble, senores. I know where the oil is kept. Perhaps you too will have a drink. Pancho was killed, and I am charged with his murder. No. Senor Carlson is taking me to court. This cannot be. Oh, I'm sorry, senorita. It has to be. Unless, of course, we can prove Ramon is not guilty. Nice and fresh. Where'd you get this water? From Pancho, of course. He brings our water since our well is dry. When did you get it? Early this morning. But why, senor? How can water be so important when my sweetheart is accused of murder? Murder of his own kinsman. It is horrible. More important than you think. Oh, I cannot stand anymore. Por favor, senor. Take care of the horses, Toro. Can't understand it. Her pulse is normal. Not so fast, Don Porfirio. Venezuela. I have come for my son, senor. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't have him. About that, I will soon change your mind, senor. Don Porfirio, your family is hanging an innocent man. All right. I'll call your bluff. Turn my partner loose or I'll pull the trigger. First, you turn my son loose, senor. Muchachos, when I count to ten, Whip his scores out from under him. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. All right, all right. You win. I know what I'm like. Auto. Thank you, senor. Muchas gracias. Now turn El Toro loose. First, you turn my son loose. Chamacos, give his liberty back to El Toro. I hope I can do the same for you someday, senores. But, senor, I should release my son. I'm sorry, I'm not a blacksmith. You mean you have no dicky? Exactly. Only the marshal or the sheriff can undo those handcuffs. Only the law can release your son. Ah, gringo law. Our blackers meat will chisel those things off. But your son will be charged with murder. He'll be hunted night and day until he's caught. And it'll be too late to prove his innocence. You mean, senor, you believe him innocent? Yes, and I think I can prove it. Feeling better, senorita? Much better. Now that Ramon is not going to jail. And you faked that little feigning spell just so I wouldn't see his family riding him. You'd do most anything for Ramon, wouldn't you? I love him very much. Then help me pin the murder on the guilty man. How can I help? What can I do? We don't have a bit of evidence, so we've got to get a confession. But why should any man in his right mind confess to a murder? We've got to give him a reason, and that's where you come in. Back, mighty soon, kid. I didn't turn the boy over to the sheriff after all. But you said you would. For once, I went back on my word. Well, where's the prisoner? I don't know. I let him go. What? He had the gold on him that he took from Poncho and the mud on his boots to prove where he got it. 
Well, that's evidence enough to hang him. Don't rush me, Perry. I got to think this out. Now, about the gold. The dumbest thing that the guilty man could possibly do would be to take it to an assayer with the owner's name still on it. He was only turning in part of the loot to put up a front. A part of the loot, you say? Well, sure. Pancho's been sending down as much as six or eight thousand dollars worth of gold at a time. I'm glad you straightened me out. Now, about the mud on Raymond's boots. If a man didn't know that a little mud could tie him in with a murder, he wouldn't bother to remove it, would he? How should I know? But on the other hand, if a man did know that a little mud could hang him, he'd be mighty particular to remove it. Well, you're crazy. According to your way of thinking, any man with clean boots would be... The only man with clean boots. The only man in town. And the only man who knew Pancho was bringing in as much as six or eight thousand dollars worth of gold. That's not evidence. I'll sign a complaint on it. You'll never convict me, Carson. Want to make a bet? Come in, Elena. Senorita Marino, you know Marshal Blake? Si, senor. And Mr. Perry? I've seen him before. When? This morning. Where? On the road where I come to get my water from Pancho. After I get it, I see these men with Pancho's wagon. What then? For a moment, they talk like good friends. I think maybe he is stopping the wagon to get a drink of water. I turn away, and suddenly, I hear a shot. Stand where you are. And don't try to follow me. Mounts to a confession, doesn't it, Marshal? Well, it sure does, but you let him get away. Maybe I did, but Al Toro won't. He staked out to grab him. <laughs> you two think of everything. Oh, not always, but we try. See you later. Perry? See, si, he just rode past. Why didn't you stop him? With what? After those Valenzuelas almost hang me with my own rope, they forget to give me back my gun. Well, maybe you forgot to ask for it. Well, what difference does it make? We lost our man. Well, we sure can trail him. Which way did he go? Is this the man who accused you, Ramon? Si, padre. Then, Senor Carson was right. Let us hang him. I say no. Por qué? You just said Senor Carson was right. And that goes for the law. Are we going to spend the rest of our lives fighting, or are we going to let it protect us? But, my son, your life is in the balance. Then it is my right to decide. We will take this man back to the marshal. Perry has practically confessed. He's got enough to hang him. His son is a free man, Senor. One more thing, senores. I demand that you return to me my gun. And if it is not returned, you I... do what? I'll get even more angry. It was my job to bring you back. And El Toro is a man of duty. Adelante. 